y'all don't play with me because i am a whole different girl right now okay i just got my hair done and it looks so good you have to go to them safi styles and i'm gonna go to a hair salon or not a hair salon store a beauty store so that i can get the stuff that i need to wrap my hair because this hair needs to last this needs to look like this for a month and i know that it can do it on its own but i just want to make sure that like i'm doing everything that i possibly can to make it stay this nice because we're not going to be glowing up if we have like not done hair right and we got it done pretty early so yeah um yeah <laughs> part one done okay so i went to the beauty supply store and I got some stuff for my hair. So let's look at it. I got this head wrap, just a normal scarf head wrap. I'm sure that the bun in the back is probably bad, but uh, uh that's how it looks. Um, I don't know if I'm doing it wrong, but I am going to learn how to do cute styles with scarf head wraps. But I got some more. So there's like this bedazzled one. I saw it and it looked really pretty on the mannequin. So I wanted to see if it would look good. Wow. So pretty. I'll look back at the video and see what it looks like in the back. I also just got like a really big bonnet. But yeah, so that's the stuff that I got. And I will be protecting my hair. <gasps> oh my gosh. It has lace on it. I didn't even know that. That is so gorge. <gasps> wow, y'all. <laughs> Period. What? What? Like, what? So, yeah. Uh, that's all the stuff I got. On to part two. Y'all, I am having the hardest time doing this hand. This is what it should close to. Guys, don't worry about how messy my hands are right now. I'm trying my hardest. But this is how these two should come out. And the thumb I already did, and I did it pretty good actually on this hand. Which, oh, can we focus? Yes. Which I'm actually kind of proud about. But yeah, I'm so struggling with this middle finger, bro. This is what they're looking like. I did a cute little like teardrop moment on the butterfly one that I thought was really, really cute. And then this white one, this is, my nails are literally a whole project, but this white one, I'm gonna be putting the like 3D flower, just put like a little inspo right there. I didn't have the equipment, so I had to order it. So it's coming in tomorrow, but I wanted to get like the main part of my nails done. This is the other side, looking pretty cute. I did all right. Hey guys, don't mind how I look right now, but it is the day of the party obviously i look like trash but we have to finish my nails and do the flower on this finger okay i got the products so let's do it i'll try to show you guys some of it I'm gonna be using these three colors for the flower. It came out so cute, guys. All right, y'all, we have finally finished the nails! They are honestly so cute, I'm obsessed. Obviously, I didn't do any cuticle oil or anything yet, but guys, I'm literally obsessed. Look at like the iridescent in the, the butterfly in the bow. And then we got to have the really cute flower. Ugh, I'm just so obsessed, guys, but anyway. Now we have to get this face ready for the party before we go and set up. So, yeah, guys, I'm just so happy. Look at them. Ah, I love them. I'm getting ready in a white bathing suit, so literally pray for me. But, yeah, guys, let's get ready for the freaking party. Yay! So, today I want to do, like, a really natural beauty glow, okay? You can't have a glow up without glowing, right? So I'm gonna use the primer that I showed you guys in the last video. If you didn't watch it, watch it after this one. But I'm just going to be using this low-key literally all over my body, but for right now on my face, 
just a little bit because it gets a little crazy and oily but it adds the best shine and glow from within literally and then i'm gonna go in with my uh snail anti-aging cream i really want to be moisturized under this even though we're gonna go really light because I will be going in the pool today. And I kind of just wanted to talk about glow ups in general. I feel like all of like the outside stuff that like looks good, obviously like you can count as a glow up, but I think glow ups honestly really do come from within the things you're eating, the things that you're doing for your body and for yourself. And I feel like lately, you know, I've been trying to do really good with my skincare and I've been trying to eat better and I've been trying to be better for myself and I've been journaling and I've, you know, just been like really like healing myself from within and doing things that are healthy for me. And I feel like that is the biggest glow up that you could have is from within so even though like all the outside stuff is nice and getting your hair done and getting your nails done is obviously nice and part of the glow up i think internally i've had a glow up too and i'm just really happy about that so thinking about like from this year to last year so much has happened and i you know feel like not that i'm a different person but just that i've grown so much and learned so much about myself and i think that's a beautiful thing and i'm happy that i got to do that before i went to college because i feel like it's helping me i feel like i would have been lost otherwise so i'm just really happy about how everything's going and i'm just really excited to celebrate my birthday today and have fun so yeah just know guys that if you ever truly want to glow up look within yourself really try to like deep dive all the trauma all the hurt everything just like really analyze it and like come to terms with like yourself from within and i feel like a lot of people could benefit from that i'm just using the rare beauty liquid blush we're going for a really like oh my gosh i've been out in the sun all day and i'm just so sun kissing cute guys i literally punch myself in the eye and i don't know if you can tell but that and that right there is from like jabbing myself in the eye with my nails yeah <laughs> so yeah i literally could have give, given myself a black eye before my birthday but it's okay we didn't we didn't i don't really want to do any foundation but i feel like it's just part of the birthday sleigh isn't it even though period we look good anyway because we have glowed up from the inside and we're beautiful regardless of makeup or anything of course so i'm gonna go in with some concealer it's really close to my skin tone and i'm not gonna go heavy at all oh really just gonna keep it light we're gonna go in with our tinted moisturizer and you know i'm gonna go in the pool but i'll do that later period uh, okay and we're doing natural lashes today too guys like we're really like kind of not glamming it up this birthday just because i i want like a really outdoorsy floral like vibe and i just want everybody to be happy and glowing and just like feeling chill and stuff and same with me so i'm not gonna be doing a full beat that i have to worry about all day so let's just brush up the eyebrows for real And obviously we're gonna do highlighter because I do highlighter even if I have no makeup on. Like honestly, I just love it so, so much. I do wanna get another highlighter though because I feel like even though this one is pretty, I feel like it's just not blinding on my cheeks at least. So like it's glowy, but it's not blinding and I love to be blinded, period. Okay, now for the eyes. Again, we are not doing fake lashes today. We are going to be doing natural lashes. So I'm literally just going to go in with my lash curler. Part of this glow up, I was also using this serum that is for your eyebrows, but I use it on my lashes and it's been growing my lashes so crazy. Guys, if you go on Instagram and you see all of those like voodoo hair, blah, 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 find one that you trust and buy it because girl this has grown out like my natural hair and my eyelashes so much like my eyelashes have never been this long literally ever and i could literally just curl my lashes and call it a day so yeah guys get yourself some of these some of this i promise you it'll probably work but yeah we're gonna do our lashes real quick period we're done and then obviously to compensate for everything else i am going to be doing a very cute lip combo 
duh so i unfortunately lost my brown lip liner like i haven't known where it's at for like a couple days now and i'm really really sad and i could go buy a new one but we're just on a time crunch low key so i'm just gonna line my lips with this pinker shade and i think it's fitting anyway just because like my pop of color is obviously pink so i feel like that works out i'm gonna put it in the middle of the lips too and then that's the birthday makeup. Don't I just look so cute, guys? Yay! All right, guys, now it is just time for the party. So I'll show you guys a few clips of my party today, but I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy the clips. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to, to you. Happy birthday to you. It's skinny right now. With the red lipstick or the, the pink whatever. 